And there she is, the big 1004. Okay, this is engine number 1004 at the Moore County Fairgrounds. It's Milwaukee Road. This is uh, probably better kept than any steam engine in the country today. Out here, very nice. There's the back of it. You can see it's really nifty. Really cool. There's some tools over there that are used on the railroad. Here we go. The Milwaukee Road, engine 1004. Read a little bit there about it. Okay. Just stop action, you can read that. The Iron Horse of the Road. It's a G8 class engine. This uh, train was first built in 1901 and it was rebuilt um, in uh, 1920. Look at that. Oh, it's so big, I can, it weighs 154 tons. I can't even get the whole thing in here with my fairly wide angle lens. And then these passenger cars over here, the Milwaukee Road, these were from a, a Chicago commuter train. They were brought here. Milwaukee Road. I thought maybe my sister has actually rode, rode in these cars, but I'm not sure if they did. And then down here at the end, we have one of only four Milwaukee Road caboose cars of this type left in the world. There we go. This is number eight. The Milwaukee Road. You can see it's pretty nifty. Let's take a quick look inside of here. There you go. There's the caboose. Pretty neat. We got a little kerosene lamp. This supposedly could have been, uh, could be placed uh, on the back of the caboose, right outside. Absolutely no climbing, it says. Some cars back here. Neat little thing. A little restroom right in here. Pretty neat. Pretty nifty little room. Kelly Brothers pay tribute to Dad by renovating old rail cars. That's cool. Really America. Little window there. Really nice. Oh, this is the Oakland, Minnesota train depot. Nice. As you can see, pretty cool. Rose Creek sign there. Look at all this stuff. This is good. There's something I remember right there. I fished in that bridge right in the middle there. Black Bridge, we call it that. There's, there's a nice please do not touch. Nice rails. Cars in here, really nice formal car. Very neat, very nifty. Yard limit. Bill Callahan was a mechanic in the Milwaukee Road Roadhouse. Okay, I'll sneak over if I see anybody. Yeah. Okay, we're. I'm going to quickly get onto the passenger trains here. Here it is. Boy, it's 100 degrees in here. You can see that luggage up here. So this commuter train originally was out of Chicago. And I don't know if it was ever put in service even for a short period of time uh, here in uh, Austin. If it was, my sisters, my little, when they were 9 and 11 years old and younger than that, sat on these seats and headed out to Avoca, Minnesota, out by Worthington and uh, Fulda and Slayton, out through there, to visit their grandma and grandpa in Avoca. And if, it was, if they didn't take these seats, it, it would have been very similar to this. I would assume, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, car. Cool picture. Yeah. I was just speaking with a real enthusiast out here. And he talked about how it's kind of a shame that we never brought the train back. It's a part, big part of our history. Look, look at these, look at these trunks back here. Big part of our history. And uh, with Austin at one time being a 
huge hub of transportation hub in southern Minnesota and the gateway pretty much to Minneapolis, Twin Cities area. And now we're not. We're coming on back to the old 1004. I'd like to blow the whistle. Maybe before we leave, I'll give it a, a blow. If uh, some people come up, we get a few people who are walking around, maybe some kids. I think this is it right here. That, if I pull on that, it, it might go. Whistle sounds. Approaching the station, one long blast. Okay, we do one warning, several short toots. Maybe we do a warning. Maybe I won't be doing anything. Water gauge, there's the water gauge. There's the steam gauge. Yes. This is really cool. Train brake there, I would have to have my hand on that brake. There's the engine brake, I would definitely have to have my hands on those. There's reverse. You better, you need some training to run this thing. All right. Cool. Okay. Okay, get, okay you guys, you're going to ring the bell for us? We're going to ring the bell. Go ahead, ring, ring the bell. bell. All right. 1004, bell's going to ring. There it goes. Right now, let's get a, we're going to zoom in on the bell. There they are. Good job. Good job. Go ahead and ring it. He's, he's putting some muscle into it. Good job. Here's big number 1004 from the front. Three, uh, 308,000 pounds. Choo-choo train. Look at the size of that thing. This is a big, big steam engine. In beautiful condition. Really nicely preserved. There you go. Here's the 1004 from over here. This is what it's like to be standing in front of a giant train when it's coming at you down the tracks. You best get out of the way, folks. That's all I can say. Really a beautiful train. Really nice.